President, please be seated. The court is in session. Reprise de l'audience. And the chamber will hear two CCW 830, the witness concerning the fact of the 1st January dam. Court officer, please invite Mr. Witness, together with the duty counsel, into the courtroom. Good morning, Mr. Witness. What is your name? Answer. My name is Yen Lun. President, thank you, Mr. Yen Lun. When were you born? Answer, I do not recall it. Je ne souviens pas. President, President, how old are you quel âge this year? Cette année? Answer, I am 73 years old. 73 ans. President, President, thank you, Mr. Yen Lun. Merci, Monsieur Yen Lun. Do you recall where you were born? Vous souvenez -vous de votre lieu de naissance? Answer, réponse. I was born in... Quay Village, Kampung Thomor Commune, Santuk District, Kampung Thom Province. President, thank you. What about your current address? Where are you living now? Answer, I am living in Pum Quay Village, Kampung Thomor Commune, Santuk District, Kampung Thom Province. President, thank you. What is your father's name and mother's name? Answer. My father's name is Jian Lun. Jian Lun is the name of my father. Said witness. My mother's name is Jane. Bain Jane. Bain Jane. President. Why your father's name and your names? Is the same. Dian Lun. Answer. I'm sorry, Mr. President. His name is Bun Yian. President. Thank you. What is your wife's name? How many children do you have together? Answer. Chom Chen. We have no children. President, thank you, Mr. Yen Lun. According to the report of the Greffier, 
through your best knowledge, du greffier, you do not have any relationship with the two accused, Kyo Sun Pon and Nun Chia, or through any of the parties in case 002. Is that information correct? Answer. I have no relationship with them. President, and uh, I was told that you have taken an oath or before the Iron Club statute to the east of this courtroom already before you are here. Is that true? Answer. I took an oath yesterday. President, the Chamber would like to inform you of your rights and obligations as a witness. Mr. Yenlon, as a witness in the proceedings before the Chamber, you may refuse to respond to any question or to make any comment which may incriminate you. That is your rights against self-incrimination. This means that you may refuse to provide your response or make any comment that could lead you to being prosecuted. Your obligations. As a witness, Mr. Yellon, in the proceedings before the chamber, you must respond to any questions by the bench or relevant parties, except where your response or comment to those questions may incriminate you after the chamber has just informed you of your rights as a witness. As a witness, you must tell the truth that you have known, heard, seen, remembered, experienced, or observed directly about an event or occurrence relevant to the questions that the bench or parties pose to you. Mr. Yen Lund, have you ever given any statements to the investigator of the ECCC? So, how many times did you give your statements and where did they take place? Witness, I was interviewed by, I was interviewed by the chamber Chamber, President, entendu par la chambre. did you give any statements to Le the investigator? Entendu, fait des déclarations aux enquêteurs? President, please wait and observe the microphone, Mr. Witness. Que le microphone soit allumé avant de parler, Monsieur le témoin. President. President, in the past several years, did you give statements to any investigator of the ECC concerning facts or case before this chamber? Answer. I was never. I did not uh, read the statements. President, I did not ask President, whether you have read uh, the documents si or statements already. I would like to know whether you were invited si or you were interviewed concerning si the 1st January dam work site. Answer, yes, I was interviewed. President, oui. thank you. And how many times did you provide, uh, did you give uh, your statements and where did they take place? Answer. 
I was. I was interviewed by the investigator at a Kwai village. Ce sont des enquêteurs qui m'ont interrogé au village de Kwai. President. President. Before you are here, Avant de venir have you ici, read or examined uh, the statement that you gave to the investigator at Kwai village already? Aux enquêteurs au village de Kwai. Answer. Réponse. Yes, I uh, briefly I briefly uh, read uh, that statement. Oui, However, I I could not uh, read and write. Mais I could uh, read uh, simple words only. Je ne peux lire que des mots simples. President, uh, did someone uh, read for you? Est-ce que quelqu'un vous l'a relu? Answer uh, yes. I uh, some somebody read oui, uh, the statement for me and I listened to it. Ce document et je l'ai écouté. President, from your President, recollection, does this statement reflect what you have uh, given to the cette, investigator? Uh, then? Ce document. Les réponses figurant dans ce document correspondent-elles à ce que vous avez dit aux enquêteurs? Answer. Réponse. I could recall some facts, but not all of the facts. Je me souviens de certains, de ces, de certains de ces éléments, mais pas de tous. President, Mr. Yen Lun, President now Yen Lun. the chamber provides a duty counsel through vessels. Par l'entremise. De l'unité d'appui au témoin um, You have uh, Mr. Mung So Wan uh, sitting close to you. I would like to know have you consulted uh, with uh, your duty council before you are si here? Vous l'avez consulté avant de venir ici. Si vous vous êtes entretenu avec lui. Answer. Réponse. I have consulted already with my council. En effet. Je l'ai consulté. President, so you have already President. consulted your council, right? Vous avez donc déjà consulté votre avocat, c'est exact. Answer. I had a discussion with uh, my lawyer already. J'ai eu une discussion avec mon avocat. President. President. Thank you. Merci. In accordance with Internal Rule 91 bis of the ECCC, the Chamber gives the floor first to the co-prosecutors before other parties. And I would like to confirm that the combined time for co-prosecutors and legal lawyers are two sessions. And uh, the Chamber uh, Give you ten extra minutes together with the two sessions vous donne today. Ten minutes in plus. The two sessions today. Co-prosecutor. Co Thank you, Mr. President. Good Merci morning, Monsieur everyone, in and around the courtroom. Good morning, Mr. Witness. Bonjour, My name Monsieur is Saint Lien. I am the Lien. National Deputy Co-prosecutor. I am the National Deputy Today, I have several questions to put to you, and I would like to seek your clarification for the Chamber regarding your work at the 1st January dam site. And uh, my international colleague will have further questions to put to you as well after my turn. First, uh, I would like uh, to bring an interview un in a document D166-1561. Khmer Eo An, ending at 1787-88. And uh, English is 00330720. French, 00040-29-83. You stated that you were assigned to carry Earth at the 1st January dam site for three months pre-translation. Are 
I would like to know your exact location where you were working at the dam site. Could you tell the court the exact location, the village and the commune? Witness. You want to know the place where I did the carrying work at work at the first January dam site? La terre sur le site du chantier. Co -procureur. Co -procureur. Where exactly Où were you working at that time? In which village and commune? Answer. I was working in Snow Village, Kampung Tmo Commune at that time. Question. Who assigned you to work Question. at the 1st January dam site? Qui vous a de and sur uh, le site in du which, which du unit were you working? Et dans quelle unité Answer. The village chief assigned me to do the earth carrying work. De transporter la terre. Question. Question. What was his or her name and uh, what was the quel name of your unit? Et quel était le nom de votre unité? Answer. Réponse. The village is the village. Chief's name Le nom du chef de village is Lee. Est Lee. Question: In Question. which unit were you working? Dans quelle unité travailliez-vous? Answer: It was the mobile units uh, for uh, women and uh, men workers. Pour les travailleurs, hommes et femmes. Council, uh, do you mean you were working in uh, a male mobile unit or female mobile unit? President, uh, please wait, Mr. Winner. You need to observe the microphone before you give your statement. Avant de répondre. Answer. There were units for Réponse. male and female workers. They did the earth carrying work. Il s'occupait de transporter la terre. Council. Could you tell the court how many members were there in your unit? Dire combien de membres il y avait dans votre unité? Answer. There were many workers Réponse. in the units responsible for carrying work. There were hundreds of them. La terre. Ils des Question. Question. Did you recall some names in your unit? You can. You can. Answer. The chief of uh, that worksite's name was uh, Kai Pok. Co-prosecutor, I would Co like to know about your unit. You stated that you worked in the uh, male and female mobile unit. Could you tell the court some of your colleagues' names? Witness, I do not recall their names. Question. Question. Did the workers in your units 
Les travailleurs dans come from the same village or they came from different units, different de, villages. De villages différents. Answer. People from uh, Santok district came to work at that uh, dam site. Sur ce chantier, so as I stated, so there were many uh, workers. Dis, they were all from Santok district. district de Santok. Council, could you tell the court who uh, is your village chief? Le coprocureur plutôt. Pourriez-vous dire qui Unit était chief, votre chef d'unité Answer. The name uh, is Yi. Réponse. Yi était son nom. Council, you mentioned about the uh, whole that the workers were all from Vous the Santuk district. Could you tell the court, the court again how many workers there at the work site? De travailleurs il y avait sur le site. Answer. Réponse. In some units, there were 32 members, and some unités, other units, there membres, were 33 or 34 members. Question. Question. Did they all come from the same village or Venait different villages? Du même village ou de villages différents? Answer. They were from different villages. Question. Do you recall when you go to work at that site? Du moment où vous alliez travailler sur ce site. Answer, I could not recall it. Réponse, je ne m'en souviens pas. I could not recall it. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Counsel, uh, co-prosecutor, thank you. Merci. The evidence shows that uh, the construction of the 1st January Les éléments de preuve montrent que le chantier de construction du barrage du 1er janvier a commencé December 1976 and it ended in 1977. Could you tell the court about the work that you did at the 1st January dam site? Witness. Réponse. While I was working at the first uh, January dam site, I had janvier, no time to rest. Je I had to do de me reposer. the work je devais during the day and night times. Le jour et I la nuit. carried earth and other people also je carried earth. De la terre comme les autres. And I, I uh, was uh, doing very hard labor at that time. Je travaillais vraiment très dur à ce moment-là. In that regime, uh, workers at that uh, work regime, site were in pain and they were suffering from uh, that hard labor. De leur de Question, do you recall Question. the seasons that uh, you vous were working at that time? Was it in dry or rainy seasons? De la saison à laquelle vous avez travaillé sur ce chantier, était-ce la saison Answer, sèche ou la saison des pluies Réponse, c'était la saison sèche. Question. Réponse. 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 Witness, 
I remember that I was assigned to work at the dam site in the middle time of the regime. À peu près à la moitié du régime. Council. Could Question. you tell the court about the work that uh, you did at the work site? What was the uh, work quota? Pourriez-vous nous parler des quotas de travail établi? Answer, please repeat your question. Réponse. Pourriez-vous répéter votre question, s'il vous plaît? Question. You said that question. you were assigned to work at the first century dam work site. Please describe to the court the work assignment that you did at the dam work site. Answer. Réponse. I have told you about the work at the first January Dam work site. Je vous ai parlé du travail effectué sur le chantier that du barrage du Premier Janvier. That we were work day and night. Nous devions travailler jour et nuit. And we were forced to do the work nous étions without de le having faire any uh, break time. Et ce, sans nous reposer. And the work was very intensive. Le travail était vraiment très intense. Questioned. Please tell the Question. court, for instance, uh, the daily work quota. How many cubic meters that you were assigned uh, to the, de the ground per day? Jour. Answer. Each was assigned a four Réponse. cubic meter. As a daily quota, and we had to complete it. Nous devions respecter ce quota. And we would be in trouble if we could not complete the Nous four cubic meter si daily quota. Respecter ce quota de quatre mètres cubes par jour. Question: Did you have to work uh, with your Question. bare hand, or was you but you aided by machinery? Avez-vous pu utiliser des engins? Avez-vous été aidé par des machines des And so we were only aided with a hole. There was nothing else larger than a hole during the regime. Question. And besides the hole, were there any machineries used? Des engins ont-ils été utilisés sur le chantier? And so, no, there was none. Non. Il n'y en avait aucun. Question. Question. How did they assess the daily work quota that you uh, completed? Le quota de travail? Comment pouvait-il évaluer le fait que vous l'aviez respecté ou non? Answer. It was the unit chief who walk around and Réponse. make that assessment. C'était les chefs d'unité qui déambulaient et and for those who completed, le travail accompli. Could uh, rest while those who did not have to work harder. Les autres devaient travailler plus dur encore. Question. question what would happen to those workers who did their best and Et still could not complete the quota de leur mieux mais qui ne pouvaient pas pour autant respecter les quotas fixés answer if a worker could not complete a work quota, the person had to was forced to complete the work quota. There was a constant pressure from the unit chief for the worker to still complete the daily work quota. Question. Question. 
what were the working hours for workers at the first January Day and Brooks Day? Quand heures de travail des ouvriers sur le chantier? Answer. Réponse. The work started from 5 o'clock in the morning until 11 at noon when we rested for lunch. And Question, please continue. Question, poursuivez, je vous en prie. Answer, yes, as I said, it was 5 to 11. Oui, donc nous travaillons de 5 heures à 11 heures. Question, what about in the afternoon Question. time? Et qu'en était-il l'après-midi? I mean, after the 11 o'clock uh, at noon, Après did you have to work during the midi, afternoon or in the evening or at night? L'après-midi, le soir, la nuit? Answer. We Réponse. We started working from 5 o'clock in the morning nous until nous 11 o'clock at noon. Nous continuions à travailler jusqu'à 11h. Il y avait une pause à midi. Question. Question. Do you mean that you did not have to work uh, in the afternoon and at night? Vous n'avez pas travaillé l'après-midi ni la nuit? Answer. I réponse. only talk about the morning working hours. Je ne parle que des heures de travail pour la matinée. That is from 5 a.m. to 11 a.m. À 11 heures du matin. And after that, after Par la suite, lunch, après le déjeuner, we continued working until 7 p.m. jusqu'à 19 heures. Question. Question. Sometimes uh, were you required uh, to work Vous during the night? Parfois de travailler la nuit. Answer yes. Uh, oui. We also had to work during Nous the night. Nous également travailler de nuit. Question. Question. If there is the cast, until when do you finish the work at cas, night? À quelle heure and so le we continued working réponse. until 10 o'clock at night. Nous travaillons jusqu'à 22h. Question. Question. For workers who work at night, where Les did they sleep de nuit. after work? Où dormaient-ils une fois que ils avaient ainsi travaillé? Answer. Shelters were built réponse. along the shoulder of the dam at the work site, and they slept le there. C'est là que les ouvriers dormaient. Question: Can Question. you please uh, describe further about the sleeping uh, shelters? What were they made of? Were there proper roofing quoi, and proper fait? bedding? Y avait-il uh, des toits, des Lee. Answer. I réponse. can uh, say about uh, my condition and those workers who worked uh, with us. Je peux we slept on the ground and there was no sleeping mat. We used three leaves uh, terre, y avait pas de lit. and placed nous them on the ground and we slept on those leaves. And that's what happened to me. There were not many sleeping mats, so we just uh, swept the ground and slept on it. Nous, nous donc de le sol Question. Pour y Did you mean that there were no Question. beds and workers had to sleep on the ground without a proper sleeping mat? And Sans you had to sleep on mat. tree leaves. Were you provided with any mosquito net? Des moustiquaires étaient-elles fournies? Non, 
There was no non. mosquito net. Non, il n'y avait pas de moustiques. Forget about it. Loin de là. Questioned. What would happen if it rained at night while you were sleeping? Que se passait-il lorsqu'il pleuvait la nuit? Rare workers who were sleeping in the uh, shelter uh, wait. La pluie mouillait-elle les ouvriers qui Rest dormaient sous ses abris Monsieur le Président, please, uh, on, le Président veuillez on. attendre, s'il vous plaît. Floor. Monsieur le témoin, mettez-vous sur la table. Monsieur le Président, je ne suis pas d'accord avec la question. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Il s'agit pas d'une objection, mais d'une petite remarque. Je voudrais que vous me disiez qu'il a travaillé pendant la nuit. Qu'est-ce que vous voulez dire par là Je voudrais que vous me disiez qu'il a travaillé pendant la nuit. Qu'est-ce que vous voulez dire par là Je voudrais que vous me disiez qu'il a travaillé pendant la nuit. Qu'est-ce que vous voulez dire par là Je voudrais que vous me disiez qu'il a travaillé pendant la nuit. Qu'est-ce que vous voulez dire par là Je voudrais que vous me disiez qu'il a travaillé pendant la nuit. Qu'est-ce que vous voulez dire par là Je voudrais que vous me disiez qu'il a travaillé pendant la nuit. Qu'est-ce que vous voulez dire par là Je voudrais que vous me disiez qu'il a travaillé pendant la nuit. Qu'est-ce que vous Deputy Co-Prosecutor, thank you to my learned colleague about uh, his observation. National Adjoint, merci beaucoup à mon confrère. Regardless of the season, sometimes uh, rain did a drop, and I put a question to the witness. J'ai posé une question au témoin par rapport à la pluie. Oh, when there was a rain, whether the uh, workers si there uh, got wet. Les ouvriers se mouillaient ou pas. Cette question est donc indépendante de la saison. Question. Allow me to repeat my question, Mr. Witness. My last question to you is the following: For workers who slept at night time in the shelter, were they got? Did they get wet? Yes, it was raining. Answer. There were there was a roof, but there were. The, it was patchy at some locations, and indeed they got wet if it drained. Question: What would happen then if uh, the workers got wet from rain? Answer: Réponse. We had to work while it was raining. We didn't feel the cold because while we were working, we generated heat. Question: I like now to refer to the food ration given to workers at the first January dam break site. How many times meals were given to you? Pourriez-vous nous dire combien de fois par jour des repas vous étaient servis? Answer: We were given only gruel, and no cooked rice was given to us. Question: And how many meals per day? Answer: Two. Question. Question. President, Mr. Witness, please be mindful of the microphone. You, your response did not go through the interpretation system, and we did not hear it. If you were speaking at the same times as the prosecutor speaks, please take turn. Faites attention à bien alterner. Question. Please respond to my last question on how many meals you were given per day. Combien de repas vous étaient servis chaque jour? Answer. We were given two meals. Deux repas nous étaient servis. President, Deputy Co-Prosecutor, please switch on your microphone. Le Président, Monsieur le Co-Procureur Adjoint, veuillez 
question. My apology, Mr. President. And my question is the following. Mr. Witness, were the meals given to you sufficient and proportionate to the ever quarter of a cubic meter per day? Answer, no, it was not sufficient. It was very little. Question. Was drinking water provided at the work site? Or where did you have to go to drink water? Answer. We dug a well in order to drink the water, and there was no uh, drinking water provided. Question. Due to the insufficient food ration, did any worker protest? Cela conduisait-il certains ouvriers à, à protester? And so, during the regime, nobody dared to protest regarding the lack of food. Personne n'osait se plaindre du manque de nourriture. Unit chief had to resolve the food matters. Les chefs d'unité devaient résoudre les problèmes liés à l'alimentation. La, Question. Question. Did Workers at the first January dam work site fall sick often. Du barrage du 1er janvier tombait-il souvent malade? Answer: Many of the workers uh, got sick. Beaucoup d'ouvriers sont And tombés malades. And if the condition was not uh, serious, they were forced Mais to continue pas malade, working. Ils étaient contraints de continuer à travailler. They had to work, although they were sick. Ils devaient continuer à travailler en dépit de leur maladie. Question. For workers who got sick, were they treated on the site? Les ouvriers qui tombaient so, malades étaient-ils soignés sur le chantier? Et si oui, comment? Question. There were medical staff uh, going around the sleeping quarter uh, with an injection. They actually went uh, from one building to the next to provide injection to sick workers. Question. Was the, were there sufficient medicines for the treatment? Y avait-il suffisamment de médicaments pour soigner les gens? Answer: No, there was Réponse, very non. little medicine, Il avait and it très was not sufficient. C'était loin d'être suffisant. Question. Question. If workers had to relieve themselves, Lorsque les ouvriers was there se any proper latrine to provide it? Pouvaient-ils le faire dans des latrines appropriées? Or built? Des latrines ont-elles été construites? Answer. Small latrines were built Réponse. on site. Des petites latrines ont été construites. And there were latrines place. for each sleeping quarter. Il y en quarter. avait dans chaque dortoir. Question: Did workers go to Question. relieve themselves in the uh, latrine, or did they have to resort to go to a nearby forest? Ou bien devait-il aller dans la forêt toute proche? Answer: Some would go to the latrine, Réponse. some would go to the field, to the open latrines, field, while others went into the forest to relieve themselves. D'autres allaient dans la forêt. They simply went where they had to because the latrines were not enough for the workers on site. Question. 
Could you please clarify it again? Were there proper latrines? If so, and were the number of the latrines enough for the workers on site? Were there enough for the workers on site? Était-elle en nombre suffisant pour les ouvriers Answer. Small wooden latrines Réponse. were built. Il y avait des latrines de, de And taille, uh, the walls were made of uh, palm leaves. Les murs étaient faits de feuilles de palmier. Sometimes three leaves were used uh, On utilisait parfois to cover walls of latrines. Pour couvrir les murs de ces latrines. Question. Were there... Question. Enough latrines for workers. Y avait-il suffisamment de latrines pour les ouvriers? Answer: No. Réponse: Non. They were not enough. Il n'y en avait pas suffisamment. There was quite a serious shortage of latrines. Il y avait même euh, un manque très grave de latrines. Questioned. And at that time. Were Question. there many flies en ce temps -là, or y insects? De ou sur le chantier? Answer: uh, A large number of workers were bitten Réponse. by snakes. Beaucoup d'ouvriers ont été mordus or by par des serpents, scorpions or ou lizards. par des scorpions ou des lézards. Question. My question to you is that were there flies? If so, were si there many, many flies? Question. Je vous ai demandé s'il y avait des mouches et si oui, s'ils étaient très nombreuses. Answer. Talking about flies, Réponse. it was Vous unimaginable. There were many, many flies, and they just uh, hang on to your food. À quel point and many se posaient, se posaient uh, people actually got sick because of flies. People got dysentery and other diseases because of the uh, because of the flies. Question. Question. Was there any measure taken to countering uh, the large Des number of uh, flies? Pour lutter contre ce grand nombre de mouches? Answer: No, there was no measure Réponse. to eliminate non. flies. Aucune mesure n'a été prise pour éliminer les mouches. Question. Question. Were you aware of any date of workers who died from si disease, from fatigue, ou de or from other related uh, causes? Ou encore pour d'autres raisons? Answer. Réponse. I did not know about uh, any uh, death of any workers, but I noticed si that many morts, workers fell sick. Que beaucoup d'ouvriers tombaient then malades. Then uh, they were sent to hospital for the hospital for treatment. Pour y être Question. Question. Did you say that uh, no none of the workers there died? Or that you did not know if any workers died? Ou bien avez-vous dit que vous n'aviez pas été au courant de cela? Ou que n'aviez pas remarqué que des ouvriers mouraient? Answer. People Réponse. got sick, but I did not malade, see any of them die. Mais je n'ai vu aucun d'eux de mourir lorsque j'ai travaillé là-bas. Question. Question. Réponse. 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 Did you know if any worker died from si work-related incident, for example, à uh, cause du travail? landslide, a soil par collapse? Par exemple, s'il si y avait eu un glissement de terrain, ou si le sol... And so, no, I did not know any of the case. Enseveli. There was none. Je pense non. Je n'ai pas entendu parler de cela. 
question, allow now to move on to another uh, topic that is uh, the visit of the leadership de of the DK regime to the first January Dam Bruxelles. Can you recall if any of the Khmer Rouge leaders visited the Bruxelles? And uh, I only knew about the visit by Kai Pok. J'ai seulement été au courant de la visite effectuée par Kai Pok. And uh, also uh, uh, a visit by John, and these two were overall in charge de of the dam work side. Question. And besides these two Question. supervisors, were there other leaders y avait-il d'autres dirigeants who came to visit the work site? D'autres dirigeants sont-ils venus en visite sur le chantier? Answer. For other senior uh, leaders, uh, namely Kiel Sampont, I am unsure. Please, please turn on the microphone. Le président, votre Co -prosecutor. I do not know, Mr. President. I switch it on, but it keeps switching itself off. Monsieur le Président, mais il ne cesse de s'éteindre. Question. Question. You said John and Kai Pok visited or inspected the work site. Please give more details as to when and who escorted them. Answer. They. They spent about two or three hours only on the day of the Dam Bruxelles uh, inauguration. Question. Question. And when was that? When was the inauguration held? Quand a eu lieu la cérémonie d'inauguration? And uh, now I cannot recall it. I forget about it. Réponse non, je ne m'en souviens pas. J'ai oublié. Question in your Question. written record of Dans interview with the OCIJ investigators, that is document D166 156 at page in Khmer 0032178. And in English at zero zero three three zero seven two zero and in French zero zero four zero two nine eight three You stated that and allow me to uh, quote Je cite. I saw John and Q some poem come to uh, visit the website. Le chantier. And after the visit by Kyu Sampon, Après la visite de Kyu Sampon, rather when he came to visit, I was about plutôt, 20 meters venu, away from him. À une distance de 20 mètres de moi. I do not recall as to which year Je he made that visit. However, I Mais believed that I saw him in 1978. I knew that he was killed some porn as I was told by others at the work site that it was him killed some porn. There were many uh, people who were escorted him and I heard him making a speech. Je l'ai entendu prononcer un discours. Asking people to strive to work Il harder and hurriedly on a loud speaker. Et je entendu au and a quote, free translation. You stated that you were 20 meters Vous away from Kiel Sampon when he came to visit the first Gendry Dam work site. 
inspecter le chantier du barrage. Could you please uh, pinpoint the exact location of Kyoto Pond's visit? Dire exactement où a eu lieu cette visite. L'endroit exact. I only heard the people or workers talking about him. I did not see him clearly with my own eyes as I did not know him that well. Question. In your written statement, you said you were 20 meters away from him. What do you say to that? Qu'est-ce que vous avez à en dire? Answer. At that time, I did not know him, and I only Réponse heard the people à talking about him. Les gens de lui. And I personally did not know who Kyosampon was. Personnellement, je ne savais pas qui était Kyosampon. You said that he spoke into a PA ordering the militia and the people to work hurriedly. Did he speak into a microphone or into a PA system? d'amplification de la voix. d'identifier qui était qui. Question. Question. You also said he gave his instruction on Vous avez également dit qu'il avait donné a, a PA grâce à un to a militia. Did he only give orders or instructions to the militia or also to the workers there? Uniquement aux militiens ou les instructions visaient-elles également les ouvriers là-bas? Answer. Là that is the point that I am really unclear. Réponse. Eh bien, c'est cela que je ne sais pas exactement. Question. While you were working Question. there and Kyosampon made a visit, Lorsque vous travaillez là-bas, workers allowed to rest in order to go and greet Kyosampon, or you had to carry working as normal. Deviez-vous continuer de travailler? President Vinay, please wait, and Councilor Kungsumon, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to object to the last question by the Deputy National Co-Prosecutor as his summary is inaccurate in response to the testimony and statement by this witness. The witness did not say that he saw Q. Sampon visited the worksite and he only heard other workers saying that Q. Sampon came to visit the worksite. Thank you. Merci. Deputy and Mr. President, the written record by the OCIJ clearly states that the witness actually saw Kyosem Paul as he was only 20 meters away from him, and now he says that he is not clear on that, and I try to verify the situation here. President. You may proceed, uh, co prosecutor. Prosecutor, you said people told you that uh, the person was killed some pawn. So please tell the court whether the person was actually killed some pawn. Dites à la chambre à présent si cette personne était vraiment killed some pawn ou non. From what I uh, could see, it was not Kilsom Paul, but I was only sure on Kaipo and John. But uh, I personally did not 
seen Kyosan Pon visited the worksite. Personnellement, je n'ai pas pensé que Kyosan Pon était venu visiter Question. le chantier. Then, based Question. on your belief, who actually gave Bien, orders to the militia and to the workers to work hurriedly? Et aux ouvriers, leur enjoignant de travailler avec zèle. Answer. The orders uh, would come from Kaipok or John, who were on site. De John, qui était sur le site. And when they were there, we were not allowed to stop. Thousands of us had to continue là, working and working harder than normal. Sometimes we travail, had to run, carrying the earth. Il nous fallait parfois même courir tandis que nous transportions la terre. And that also happened on the inauguration day Et when they were present there. The Workers were all running and it was cloudy as a result of dust. Et le tout, you could not imagine the, de la the cloud of dust at the time as it was really, really dusty. Question. Question. When you heard the order from uh, the loudspeaker, do you mean that the order happened on the day of the inauguration? Voulez-vous donc dire que l'ordre a été en, a été donné le jour de la cérémonie d'inauguration? Answer. Réponse. It happened on that one same day. C'était le même jour. Question. Please tell us Question. who John was. Dites-nous qui était John. Answer. Réponse. From what I heard other people say, John uh, was autres, from John the north zone level. De la zone nord. President, uh, thank you. Je vous remercie. Mr. Witness, it is now time for le us to have our lunch break. We take a break now and resume at 1.30 this afternoon to continue our proceedings. And court officer, please assist the witness during the break at the waiting room for witnesses and experts and invite him to return to the court room together with his duty counsel this afternoon at 1.30. And security personnel, you instructed to take Kirsten Pond to the waiting room downstairs and have him returned to attend the proceedings this afternoon before 1.30. The court is now in recess. Dans le prétoire, suspension d'audience.